At nine years old, I could do this. But Moses, I'm old now. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Joey Hollingsworth, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, an accomplished tap dancer, performer, <laughs> and, and at 80 years old, you just lit the entire auditorium on fire. Thank you. That was I, incredible. I, I had a lot of fun out there. Yeah. It was nice. It was a great. It's a great room to work. I started making money at five. You were a professional at five. Yeah, at five. I, my, my father made all my costumes and he, he, he made me white satin tails and I was known to tap, tap dance in these white satin tails and I danced to Dark Town Strutter's Ball and I did the second Bill Robertson, I remember. And then I came off stage and the, the uh, woman gave me an envelope and I opened it up and, and there was a five dollar bill in it. And so uh, I, my father said, well, now you're a professional tap dancer because you've been paid. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's exciting to us, Ed Sullivan and all this stuff, but when you look back on your career, what is it that stands out as some of the most cherished memories for you? I think the most exciting thing that in retrospect was to be the dancing salesman of the Mr. Rogers show. Yeah. Because he was like... Uh, like I said on stage, uh, there were three people, Ernie F Combs, Ro Fred Rogers, and, and, um, and uh, Tennessee Ernie Ford, and they were the top three, like they were real Christian people, Christian men, and um, I just enjoyed working with them, and, and Fred was, was just a cut and above everybody. He was an ordained minister, oh, okay. and, he, uh, and when... Uh, when he passed away, we, my wife and I, Delina, uh, drove over to Pittsburgh and they had a big wake for him and Yo-Yo uh, Mon was there and everybody. And one of the ministers saw him on the street and said they're, they're going to have an uh, opening of a building for children to, uh, for a recreation building and would you come? And so Fred said, yes, I will. So anyway, they had tickets for him in, at the box office and they had a special place for him. And so he wasn't there. And the kids were all, you know, looking, looking. And there was a dead time and one of the little boys said, Mr. Rogers, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was hilarious. And, but he, what he did, he was, he was Fred Rogers. He, he bought the tickets and walked in and sat down in the, in the, uh, amongst the crowd. And then he went back and he saw the children afterwards, but he was, he, he, that's, that was his, the, the last time I spoke to him, we had a, um, uh, we have a house, my wife and I, in Manitoba, and I said, I want to speak to Fred. I hadn't spoke to him maybe in five years, and, and I said, I, I have to speak to him. I don't know why. Anyway, I phoned him and his secretary said, you're in luck, Joey, he's in today. So he said, she said, uh, uh, Fred, your dancing salesman is on the phone, <laughs> and he came to the phone. He said, "Joey, my dear, how are you?" And I never forgot those words. Please. Yeah, he was so sweet. he was just great. This is uh, this is uh, authentic Bill Robinson steps. That was awesome. <laughs>